Hello everyone, and a great big welcome to all our new subscribers. I'm the GM Stuart, and this is Pokemon Tabletop, Utopus Region. This is the story of our trainers Lavi, Luna, Jade, and Scarlet, and their adventures in Utopus, a region that uses team battles in their Pokemon League. Let's introduce our characters. Jade, played by my wife, Elena Prana, is a capture specialist from Hoenn who tended the gravestones on Mount Pyre. She has a propensity towards technology and ghost Pokemon. She has a happy attitude and loves new experiences, but has a somewhat apathetic outlook on life due to her background. Scarlet, played by Lady Nanaki, is a mystic trainer from Utopus. Because she grew up in the Church of Arceus, she has gained the ability to channel Pokemon. Channeling a Pokemon essentially links her spirit to theirs, giving her access to all of their moves and powers, making her an effective combat trainer. Scarlet is a shy but bubbly girl who, despite being very powerful, is quite the pacifist. Luna, played by Mogami33, is a Pokemon Ranger from Fior. Luna is an officer of the law who traveled to Utopus in order to become a better ranger and fill Utopus' shrinking roster of available law enforcement. Luna is a ranger, which means she has access to a styler, a device that allows her to temporarily tame wild Pokemon to her team. Why do this instead of catching Pokemon, you might ask? With the Styler, she can control two Pokemon at the same time, and unsanctioned fights, this can be quite useful. Lavi, played by X the Dark One, is the party's other Utopus local from a town called Wild Colony. His childhood, however, was far from normal. According to him, his father was possessed by a ghost Pokemon and killed his mother. Then, just before he was attacked, a Rayquaza swooped down, picked up Lavi, and then carried him up the Tyrant Mountains. There, he lived for several years, being cared for and taught to fight as a martial artist from a Dragonite. Shortly after Lavi turned 17, he was found by Professor Mahogany and reintroduced into society. It is thanks to this professor that the four trainers have now been brought together as the professional Pokemon team known as Team Fresh Floof. The team begin their journey in Microtum Village, home of the Professor, and head north onto Route 1. On Route 1, they find a shrine dedicated to the Dark Guardian of the Forest. They learn that this Dark Guardian is actually an Absol that protected the forest in times of crisis. Shortly after finding the shrine, they stumble onto a hidden cave. Inside this cave, they find a Solrock and a Lunatone orbiting a stone dais. Scarlet steps onto the dais and begins to channel their spirits and sees several ominous visions. One is the Dark Guardian of the Forest falling, trying to protect some other caves from some mysterious strangers. And second, a small witch girl who seemed hurt from some sort of violent injuries. After these visions end, the two Pokemon ask Scarlet to make a choice between two possible patrons, the Queen of Dreams or the Lord of Nightmares. Scarlet, liking the sound of the name of the Queen, chose the former. Solrock then joins the party as her Pokemon, and Scarlet becomes a follower of the Queen of Dreams. They head north and almost immediately run into the little witch girl from Scarlet's vision. She is unconscious and very injured. They take her inside a nearby rest station and treat her injuries as best they could. They discover this girl's name is Crystal and that she's part of a professional trainer group named Team Prism. They rest for the night and continue in the morning and realize that Crystal is gone. Understanding that there's not much they could do, they proceed on their way and head to Route 2. While on Route 2, they capture some Pokémon, fight off some random thugs, and then find this house near the mountains. Evidently, this house was a fossil dig location. They went inside and discover the shopkeeper is acting strange. He leaves them for the back room and is gone for quite some time. They eventually head back and investigate. In the back is a series of caves taken over by some mysterious criminals. These criminals are holding two hostages, the real shop owner and a boy in farmer's clothing. The lady in charge was an imposing but very attractive woman with red hair. She was a great trainer, able to use two Pokemon at once, a very rare skill in Pokemon Tabletop. A fight breaks out between the party and the criminals. The party was doing quite well and holding strong until the mysterious lady sent out her final Pokemon, the Dark Guardian of the Forest himself. It was clear right away that this was not a good Pokemon Master relationship. The Absol had a shock collar and was covered in several wounds. Shocked, the party became quickly overwhelmed by this powerful Absol. Desperate, they managed to find an unlikely ally from the farmer boy, who had a Marit. Thinking quickly, Lavi attacked the lady himself, managing to tackle her to the ground. He took from her a small device on her wrist that was controlling the shock collar on the Dark Guardian. As he took it from her, she called for an escape rope, disappearing in a flash of light, leaving behind the Dark Guardian. Unfortunately, during the battle between the fighting of the party, the shock collar, and its previous injuries, the Dark Guardian collapses into a slump. Scarlet channels it and discover that it is dying. For its final request, it has the party take it back to the shrine in the forest. The Absol then breaks open the shrine. Inside is an Absol egg. The Dark Guardian crawls inside, gives its final breath, before becoming an Absolite, 
a Megastone. The party takes the egg and the Megastone, and thus concludes the Dark Guardian arc. And that concludes the Dark Guardian story arc. With watching this video, you can pretty much skip the first 23 episodes without any issue. If you still want to support the show by watching the best episodes, I highly suggest watching episodes 1 through 4, and then probably just skipping the 23. Those have most of the story and character moments in them. And with that, tune in next time for the Sovereign Village story arc, where the trainers meet their rivals, Team Prism. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more episodes like this, consider pledging to our Patreon. For just $5 a month, you get access to all of our uncut streams, all patrons get a place here at the end credits, and really high dollar patrons get cameo appearances of their own original characters. But if you can't do that, and you just spent your last Poke Dollars on potions, you can always either watch Pokemon Tabletop, or we have a Pathfinder series featuring most of the players here, along with our friends HPI2K and Masago X. Have a good one.